much. And two minutes for you as well. Thank you. Hi, everyone. So I'm Artem Grinovaro, one of the founders of Amico. We focus on one of the most complex and burdensome problems in healthcare, which is medication non-adherence, aka people struggle a lot with their chronic treatments and with taking their medications correctly. So as a company, we are the other way. We are based in Italy and also in the UK and are backed by Reply, which is an Italian multinational company that focuses on IT and data services. So our core proposition is quantified medicine, which is a process to collect and analyze data about how patients use their medication and actually improve the way they do it. So at the core of this proposition, we have this. This is a device that is attached on an existing drug delivery device and collects automatically a lot of data about the way that it's being used. So we attach on it and registers if, when, and how patients are using their medication. Then we have an associated mobile application that drives medication adherence by leveraging all this data. And third thing, we have an overarching data platform that collects data in real time from all the devices. And with this, we can deliver services for a, a more optimal management of medication, better clinical research, and an improved delivery of care. So, boom. As a business model, we are a B2B company. We target primarily pharmaceuticals, payers of all sorts, and also healthcare providers of different kinds. Um, at the moment, we're fully focused on demonstrating the value of our solutions. We're doing it in, in a variety of settings with a lot of different uh, partners. That means pharmaceuticals, that means drug distributors, that means uh, telemedicine service providers, and also public institutions. Uh, we founded Amica as a team of four. We are 15 now. We also managed to involve the former CTO of the Candy Hoover Group. And also as an advisory board, we have a solid, uh, a solid board that includes also Professor Canonica, which is a world-renowned pneumologist. Um, just to conclude, we raised our seed round uh, uh, at the beginning of this year, and we're looking forward to opening our Series A in uh, mid-2017. Uh, and uh, well, thanks a lot. <laughs>